Hello fellow space engineers, this is Marcelo from HCFM Gaming and today I want to talk about AWACS. You may recognize this ship from our previous, uh, previous video. This is the Rook variant of the Corvid assault gun ship. This is the dropship version that we have uh, transformed into an AWACS craft by adding this uh, enclosed cockpit behind it with some displays and a bunch of timer blocks and programmable blocks as well as those two laser antennas. Now uh, this ship is a test bed in its current state but I figured that I would show it to you to get your opinions and maybe uh, some input on the matter on how to proceed. Now uh, this is a modded craft. It uses for the radars uh, two mods and one script. It uses the active radar mod if, uh, let me show you here. Oh, I can't get up anyway. Which is located here. As you can see, it uses the same model as the tiny antenna, but it's this one on this small protrusion here. And what that does is it shows you the radar on the HUD. Let's turn it on. move at least 200 meters away. Wait, it was on. Okay. And yeah, you see it begins picking up objects even far away. For example, our cruiser that is in low orbit. And it should pick up those um, <clears throat> those structures there, but we don't need to do that right now. The second mod that I'm using, and at this state is basically just for showing, is the holographic radar mod. So you can see it, uh, the rotating dish on top of the craft. And the third one is a script, which is very famous in the workshop. And as you can see here, it's uh, being displayed using the integrated fighter LCD screens, which is also another mod. Now, um, the reason for this amount of mods is the fact that you want to fully tailor this ship to your needs depending on the server that you are or in, uh, you know, the type of faction that you're playing, if it's a faction that builds uh, ships with mods or maybe if it's a full vanilla one, you can still get away with just uh, the script now. Uh, each one has, let's say, a different challenge. For example, the... Let me turn off the dampeners here. For example, the radar mod that I showed you before, uh, the active radar that is located back here, uh, it doesn't show anything on a display, and it has that gigantic, you see, display text. The holographic radar mod is dependent on this holo table, which is huge, and you will have to build a larger craft. I I understand that the functionality of that holo table can be attached to other mods, as long as it's um, an LCD panel, and you attach a suffix to the definition of it. But so far, I have yet to see uh, a mod that does that. So you, potentially, you could attach it to that big front screen there, and have it work like that. So I guess it's just a matter of time until somebody solves it. Uh, the let's say the vanilla friendly version is this uh, rotary sensor uh, radar script, but it has uh, some challenges that actually depend on the game. The game at this point um, lags quite badly if you run more than one of these scripts. Also. Uh, if you increase the resolution of the radar display, depending on what kind of system you have, you're going to see uh, an impact in performance. And you can actually crash the game if you set up the resolution too high, or if you have uh, two ships with medium resolution, you know, running the, the same script. And I'm going to run a test in our dedicated server and see how it performs. But at this point, uh, this script 
sadly uh, the game needs to be optimized way better for it to function and it's um it is really sad because it's fascinating and what the author um, Alex has uh, achieved with this just you know with the the game tools so and like I said I mean this is not supposed to be a finalized craft it's a test bed for all these systems and for us to decide which one uh, we should apply to use as an AWAX craft also uh, another idea that I have in the back is that you see these two laser antennas and the amount of programmable blocks and timer blocks that it has. I am running a Greg Perico's uh, Ratatosk script on the two sides of the ship. The idea that I had is that I could uh, relay the radar uh, display into, let's say, a command ship, a cruiser, a destroyer, uh, that is, uh, let's say, the, the host for this uh, AWACS craft. And that way you can have a smaller, like, uh, cheaper craft that is moving around uh, you know, exercising the way an AWACS does. It's uh, relaying information of the entire like battle space and the, the parent ship doesn't have to activate uh, its uh, sensors. It just can, you know, remain passive uh, receiving the data and not revealing its position. I understand that this uh, uh, brings a delay with the transmission, but it's uh, better than nothing. And I've yet to make it work. As you can see here, um, for some reason, uh, I must be doing something wrong, and the naming conventions for the for the uh, radar screen uh, I'm not getting correctly. But I'll I sure post an update video when I uh, get it to work. But that was basically the idea and the the concept behind this AWACS craft to have a smaller ship that is uh, easy to deploy to extend the range and serve maybe as a controller for a group of fighters or even a small uh, corvette flotilla. Now, I was talking to my friend Seth um, about the pros and cons of having an AWACS scrap as opposed to using, let's say, a Corvette or a frigate uh, as a picket. Now, the picket duty, it's a traditional role for uh, frigates in, in navies, is basically um, the outer ring of a battle group <coughs> in which you will find the frigates and they will, be, they will have their radars on and they will act as uh, flight control directors for fighters launched from the carrier that is in the very center of the battle group and uh, they would also act as early warning and uh, an initial screen against uh, submarines in the case of uh, seagoing vessels now um, the first uh, thing is that this is cheaper it's also uh, you know easier to launch it uh, that way you don't dedicate uh, like a full-fledged uh, vessel to picket duty in which it's gonna be uh, picked off uh, first by the enemy so you can retain your corvettes and your frigates uh, back with the rest of the faction and just have this uh, deployed. If you get this to work correctly, this could potentially be a drone also, so you don't have to, you know, dedicate a, a full, you know, a player to it. And it doesn't need to be, you know, a, a multi-crew vessel. I mean, it could be just one person, as you can see here. You can easily fly this from the back, have, you know, cameras and such for navigation. And oh, I forgot to mention, I have um, Whiplash um, Compass script too, because I wanted to have this, uh, you know, the, the full thing. So yeah, I mean, this could be done in a way it's more a package. It could be an AWAX drone, so you don't have to, like I said before, uh, commit one of the, the most precious resources in a server, which is a player to it. And you can have all your players, you know, with their corvettes and frigates. So. Oh, one last thing. One issue that bothers me about uh, the game still is that. That tilting is just caused by the torque of the rotor. I'm not doing anything. And it's just tilting the nose down. And the reason why I chose to place this here on the nose is because this one can actually uh, detect, detect um, oh, how are they called? Characters, which are, you know, Cyberoids, um, Cyberhounds, uh, and other players. And this works more in its single plane, so it's a surface radar, so it works better at lower altitudes. So I figured 
for this type of craft, this would be like a surface uh, terrain search radar, and these two back here would be you know the air search early warning type of radars. So okay, <clears throat> that's all for this uh, proof of concept. Once again, uh, let me know what you think of it. How you, how would you improve this vessel? What would you do? Which uh, systems would you pick? You know, as opposed to maybe having just one radar system or two combined, or maybe all three, or just the vanilla ones. And how would you arrange that in your craft? Okay, I decided to give it a second chance and actually kind of succeeding in you know running the radar script and relaying the image to a main receiver using the Ratatosk uh, script by Greg Perko um, but what I come to realize is that over time and over trials you get uh, I don't know something like data corruption as you can see there like those uh, ghost contacts and the fact that when I reloaded the scene to record this video, the thing just decided not to work anymore. So, let me show you. I'm going to <coughs> connect the, the laser antennas. They try to connect, and then they can like in desync. When one tries, the other doesn't doesn't do anything, and then it tries and it just too late. And it it happens all the time. It's you know the nature of uh, laser antennas. They're like really finicky and and uh, it's not to be ranty, but uh, we try to use them several times in our server, and it's just plainly annoying. They just they're not worth the trouble. And as you can see here, uh, I actually got this to work, but the update speed at which they transmit data uh, you get like a two second delay so you literally you cannot see things in real time uh, but at least uh, what gives me hope is that in principle this can work so you can actually have an AWACS plane circling around an area and you will be able to see the, the big picture in a would it be a cruiser a carrier or uh, the ship from which you are controlling like uh, the operations of your faction so but for this I would like to suggest maybe trying to use one of the radar mods because at this point at least uh, this is really laggy and when this thing was working uh, I had um, sim speed drops and definitely the game began to stutter in, in a way that <clears throat> if it cascades for example, two factions having each one their own AWACS uh, is just going to ruin the game. So maybe there is a way of doing this through the current mods with the, for example, the whole Raider mod. Maybe uh, doing the whole merge block uh, trick in which um, you know the parent object still thinks that the the object that was detached via merge block is still part of it. So it's definitely something that is worth uh, to look at and of course uh, keep supporting the, the authors of these scripts and maybe you know making it noticeable to Keen that uh, this is a great feature that is just made by these uh, amazing coders and, and players that in a way is being like held back by the performance issues uh, that the game has. <clears throat>